sensitive combination of smell and taste. When it comes to clever communication, these guys are the cat's meow, and then some. Cats, of all shapes and sizes, use their senses of taste and smell in such a complex way, it's almost like a sixth sense. I'm gonna find out how cats communicate. And let me tell you something, it's, it, it's not just by talking. Where do I go to see a big collection of big cats all in one place? Big Cat Rescue, just outside Tampa, Florida. The cats here have been saved from bankrupt zoos and the illegal pet trade. Wow, look at that. Now Hi, they're I'm safe in the fun. care of director I'm Scott Lowe. Thanks, this is incredible. I've never seen a tiger that looks like that. Sabu is actually a white tiger, and that's not something you would see in the wild. That's actually a, a human-created animal. It's a genetic defect, so you wouldn't see him out in the wild. And he, he was sent here because why? Well, Zabu wasn't the right color. She's actually, her stripes aren't black, and they're not, not dark enough, so she was just dumped out of the business. That's incredible. So tell me about cat communication. Well, cats are nocturnal hunters, so that means they work in the dark. Uh -huh. So vision, you know, not so good. They have to use scent for a lot of things. So they use different smells, different odors to find their prey, to mark their territory. Makes sense. Absolutely. Literally, scent. Scent, it, it does, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Absolutely. But we have a lot of cats that are out here communicating today. Do you want to see some more? Absolutely. Let's go. Follow you. Information you can get out of a urine sample. Like but first, uh, Scott says he's got a little test for me to see how my sense of smell compares to a cat. You don't want to get any on your hands. What is that? We have about 150 cats at the sanctuary, and we've collected urine over the past two days for, from a few of them, a few of the different <laughs> okay. species. And we're gonna let you, uh, we're gonna let you smell them and oh, see. Oh, this is fabulous! See I what you can tell. I can just smell that the most potent. I came to learn about cat communication. Suddenly, I'm a contestant on Name That Pee. So what we're gonna do, basically, you're gonna smell the sample, take a little bit, okay. and don't. Well, for, I'm not taking a little bit. I'll smell it. I'm not gonna don't take drink it. it but Stop! Don't grunt. You did not just do that. Taste a little bit, and then that's how you tell. Catch. <laughs> That's how you tell. You ready to try? No. That you, I, okay, first of all, I'm not tasting. Did you really just You want to be a biologist, right? Yeah. No, 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 no. I want, I'm a passion for animals, but this is where I draw, this is where I draw the line. How about if we just have you smell? Yeah, please. This one? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Uh. <laughs> it's apple juice. It's apple juice. That's good. You got me. The rest of it? Well, not apple juice. This is not apple juice. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. oh. Really, really still bad. Oh, yeah, it had more of a rosy sort of flavor. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, who am I kidding? These all smell exactly the same. They all smell like urine and not very good. It's just not a great smell. Okay. In the wild, the other tigers will be able to tell if that's a male or female, if it's young or old, and if it's ready to mate. So all that information in that little sample. All that information in a sample of urine. All that information, and just spray it on the side of a tree or on a rock or on some brush. That's how vital communication is with scent among cats. This is cat communication. <laughs> ah, I get it. Since cats are hunters, they're not gonna be out there shouting and waving to each other. They have to be stealthy, so they chat on the sly. So now we're not gonna put it on us. So now on I'm armed with a Dixie cup oh, full of leopard good. urine. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers to communication. Cheers. Bottoms up. Scott's plan is to send a little okay. email message and see how some of the cats Ready. react. Ready. Our test subjects today are these two Bengal tigers. Shere Khan, the male, and China Doll, the female, live here together as mates. Their territory comes complete with a peaceful forest and swimming pool. And like all tigers, they want to defend their turf from other big cats. The way they do that is by scent marking. By scratching trees and rubbing their scent glands on everything, they let any intruder know that this is private property. Of course, communication is a two-way street. Cats send smell messages and are perfectly equipped to receive them too. They use a special organ on the roof of their mouth called the Jacobson's organ. By flicking their tongues and curling their lips, they collect pheromones left by other animals, and the Jacobson's organ sends a signal straight to the brain. 
Ever smell something that's so strong you feel like you can taste it? Well, humans have a Jacobson's organ too, only it's way less developed than a cat. We barely use it, if at all. Are you trying to tell me that I smell? Oh, no. I smell. You stink. What can you tell from my scent? You have a, you have a watch on your left hand wrist. Um, have you been working with the monkeys? Just a question. So how are we going to deliver our message to these two tigers? Scott's got that covered. Leopard. A paper mache leopard. I thought animals had some weird behavior, but I'm the one pouring essence of leopard on some third graders art project. Now it's very important to get behind the ears when you're putting on a scent, just like that. Maybe slap a little bit there, a little bit there, and maybe underneath the arm. Those are sweat glands. But it all adds up. Suddenly, there's a smelly intruder in the tiger's territory. And I don't know about you, but I have one of those annoying neighbors who comes over all the time and just walks right in my apartment without asking and takes stuff out of the fridge. Sometimes you gotta take them down if they get on your territory, and I think that's what's gonna happen right now. They can definitely smell it. Can you still smell the... No, I can't smell it. They can smell it from all the way over there. Absolutely. Oh, well, that's why they're zeroing in right here. How far away can they smell? You know, it, it, it's an incredible distance. So we're talking through trees, through high grass. They can smell from very far away, and they can smell tiny little, tiny little markings, tiny little scents. Oh, look at them. Uh-oh. Okay, the male is first to investigate, right but the female is the first to strike with lightning veracity. Okay, so they probably aren't fooled into thinking this is an actual leopard. But it doesn't matter. The smell is enough to send them into a territorial display. The whole time, they're sniffing and licking and learning all there is to know about whoever left this bundle of smells. In fact, they probably already identified the culprit as their neighbor, who's innocently hanging out in her own enclosure, totally unaware that she's been framed. Now, what do you think they're going to do? They're probably going to just tear it apart and, and have some fun. They've, they've figured out that it's not a threat. You know, their territory is not threatened. Or if it was a threat, they've neutralized it. Uh -huh. So now, just like your cat at home would play with a, a crumpled up piece of cardboard or a paper bag, they're going to tear it apart and have some fun. A new toy. We'll leave the Tigers to have a field day with their stinky pinata. But they've made the point. A tiny whip is all they need to identify an enemy. And they won't rest until they've made sure their territory is secure and properly stamped with their smell. Well, Scott, I have to say, today was the cat's meow for me. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming out. All right. Well, it seems big cat communication is all about smell. Personally, I think it stinks. Hey, 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 say it, don't spray it. Apparently, he doesn't understand what that means.